this problem has an evil twist to it, so I want to do a quick video on it. Here we've got aniline, which is a mild base. It's got basically benzene with an ammonium attached to it, NH2 attached to it, an amide. And it reacts with water, like most of our amides do in this case, to end up producing our acid. Uh, we're, we've got a benzene with an NH3 plus on it. This is the conjugate acid and, of course, hydroxide ions. So they're giving us a pH greater than 7. That's what you expect because this is a basic solution. And they want to find the Kb. Well, to do that, we're going to have to figure out the hydroxide ion because to get the Kb, we need the hydroxide ion concentration times the conjugate acid that was produced and our equilibrium concentration of our original aniline. So let's get our calculator out and do that. Now, to get the hydroxide ion concentration, you've got to be careful. And that's where the trick is on this because they give you the pH. It's, it's a common mistake is people will quickly take and figure out the hydroxide ion concentration and go second functional log negative 9.06 and mistake the hydrogen ion concentration for the hydroxide. So no, no, we're not going to do that. We don't want to use the pH. We want to use the pOH. So that's easy enough to get. I can just take that pH and subtract 9.06 from it. I can get that pOH simply by taking 14, subtracting that 9.06 from it. And now I've got my pOH and I can take my second function anti-log, don't forget this negative, then take my answer that I have previously, and there we go. There's our concentration of the hydroxide ion, which we'd put here, and then multiply that times our amide here, which we uh, our conjugate acid, which is going to be equal to hydroxide, because this is simple. We haven't done anything to this. We haven't titrated it. This is just a simple situation where we would... Let me store this, though, because... I'm going to be using something here. Store as x, this value should be a pain to write it out again. So I'm going to take my hydroxide ion concentration, x, and square it, and then divide it by my, I had initially 0.3 molar, but I had some hydroxide, so I'll subtract that away from it and see what my KB is going to be. And there it is, 4.394 to negative 10th power. This amount of hydroxide produces so small that you really didn't have to do that subtraction. You could have taken that x squared, let me get that x, and square it, and divided it by the 0.3, not worrying about how much ionized, and still have gotten pretty much the same answer. Here you can see it doesn't show up until the fifth decimal place, which you wouldn't have to worry about. The correct answer is 4.394 times 10 to the negative 4, which is the answer for our KB. Mm -hmm.